Planet Nine Nibiru mystery deepens still, is it a black hole at the edge of our solar system? Well, something is definitely perturbing the uh, outer planets. Is it Planet Nine, Nibiru, Nemesis, Wormwood? There are various names for this. Planet Nine is the hypothetical, theoretical new world on the far edges of our solar system, which some astronomers speculate could be also a primordial black hole. Scientists from Harvard University and Black Hole Initiative, BHI, developed a new method that could crack the Planet Nine conundrum. Since 2015, astronomers have been trying to determine whether an undiscovered planet is orbiting the Sun far beyond Pluto. Some researchers have proposed the hypothetical planet could be a black hole instead. A new study accepted to the Astrophysical Journal Letters hopes to prove or disprove this theory. The study highlights the ability of the Legacy Survey of Space and Time LST mission to observe the so-called accretion flares. Accretion flares are caused by the disruption of comets intercepted by black holes gravitational tug. Now the Harvard undergraduate student Amir Siraj said that in the vicinity of a black hole, small bodies that approach it will melt as a result of heating from background accretion of gas from the interstellar medium into the black hole. Dr. Avi Loeb said, once they melt, the small bodies are subject to tidal disruption by the black hole, followed by accretion from the tidal disruption body into the black hole. And because black holes are virtually invisible to all instruments, astronomers have instead looked for their radiation signatures. So in this case, they would look for the radiation emitted by matter falling towards the black hole. And the new method proposed by the scientists could inform future searchers for black holes as well as the planet nine being uh, there, existing. Mr. Siraj said this method can detect or rule out trapped planet mass black holes out to the edge of the Oort cloud or about 100,000 astronomical units. It could be capable of placing new limits on the fraction of dark matter contained in primordial black holes, he said, and the LSST is planned 10-year survey of the southern skies that will take place at the El Penan Peak of Cerro Pachon in northern Chile. The mission will survey skies twice a week, and the new study focuses on Planet 9, Nibiru, that is, Nemesis Wormwood, as a prime candidate for observations. Dr. Loeb said the outskirts of the solar system is our backyard. And finding Planet Nine is like discovering a cousin living in the shed behind your home, which you never knew about. It immediately raises questions. Why is it there? How did it obtain its properties? Did it shape the solar system history? Are there more like it? Now, in 2015, Caltech astronomers Constantine Batigan and Mike Brown Revealed evidence suggesting a giant planet on the unusual orbit exists in the outer solar system, and the hypothetical planet could be up to 10 times heavier than Earth and 20 times farther from the Sun than Neptune. A planet that far away from the Sun would take between 10,000 and 20,000 years to complete a lap, its orbit that is. Although never observed, its presence could explain the unique unique orbits of some objects in the Kuiper Belt, a field of asteroids and planetesimals past Pluto, Siraj said that there has been a great deal of speculation concerning alternative explanations for the anomalous orbits observed in the outer solar system. It's as if something is tugging at them, pulling at them to change their orbits and have them at a slant. He says one of the ideas put forth was the possibility that Planet Nine could be a great fruit-sized black hole with a mass of five to ten times that of our Earth. So we'll see what they come up with. This is by Sebastian Ketley of Express UK. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. 
These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.